Creek, I'm really excited tonight. I get to preach. I get to preach. I get to preach to the people. Who reviews this stuff anyway? I get to preach to the cameras tonight. They brought out the cameras for us. Hey, I have a message for your supervisor, uh, you know, the, the manager, or whoever reviews this. I'm just so excited. The Bible commands me as a Christian to go out to the highways, to the byways, and to preach the gospel. So we're here to preach the gospel to you guys, tell you to repent, turn to Jesus Christ, turn away from your selfish life, and, and give your life to Jesus Christ. If you don't submit to Jesus Christ, you die in your sin, you're judged for your sin, and you, and you go where this guy's going, this religious hypocrite, you go to hell. Why do you go to hell? Because you're a rebel. You're a rebel. You will not submit to God. You will not give your heart and mind and soul and strength to God like he commands you to. Now, God, in all his love and mercy and grace, he extends mercy, grace, and love to you. It gives you the chance to repent, submit to him, but you reject him, you rebel. And, and my message is simple. If you don't repent, from your hearts, Christmas time in America, but Christ has no place in your life. Christmas time in America, you celebrate a giving of gifts, but you have rejected the gift that God has given you in His Son. You say that God is love. Can you call yourself a Catholic? What makes you a Catholic? You, I'm talking to you. What makes you a Catholic? You work to repent for your sin. Why not just do what the Bible says to repent for your sin? That means have a change of mind. It means have a change of heart. Did you know that the Bible also commands you to walk by the Spirit and not by the flesh? That if you walk by the, the Spirit, you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh? Did you know that if you walk in the power of the Holy Spirit, that you can walk in freedom and liberty in Christ? You can walk in obedience to God and His commands. You can have a fulfilling, meaningful... Listen to me. You can have a fulfilling, meaningful relationship with the living God, with the Creator of the whole, all things, heavens and earth. You can have a real relationship with your Creator. How do you know many of us have sinned? I didn't... I'm not... You've got to listen to me. You call the sinner! This, this guy says we have to work for our repentance of sin. I mean, I don't even think you know what Catholic means. But yet you confess you're a Catholic. You're a youth pastor. Well, I'm sorry for that, church, because you don't know anything about the Bible. You are disqualified. You are not, you are not fit to be a pastor of anybody. What you need to do is you need to go home, get on your face before God, young man, repent, and get born again. And ask God to fill you with His Spirit, and then you can live holy. And, you can, and then you can raise up a standing in your church, and you know what they'll do? They'll kick you out because you say you're supposed to live holy. That's what the Bible says. And when you start living holy, they're going to kick you out on the street. Now you'll be out here with us. You can come preach with us. That'd be great. I want you to get saved. I want you to live holy. Hey, you know, the Bible says without holiness, no man will see the Lord. Do you realize if you're not living a holy life, you're not going to be with Jesus forever. You're not going to, you're not going to live in the power and the presence and the light of Jesus Christ forever. You're going to be in a place called hell. And now you're a Satanist. That quickly, huh? Okay, so now it's funny. Now it's funny. Now it's a joke. No, it's not a joke. Because you live once, and you're young. I understand. It's funny. You live once, you die once, and then you're judged by God. I'm a Christian. The Bible commands me to judge righteously. 1 Corinthians 2.15 says, are you going to let? No, we're not. We're not. We're not. Listen to me. If you said what gives you the right to judge, you've got to let me answer your question. The Bible commands me to judge righteously. 1 Corinthians 2, 15. A spiritual man judges all things, yet he himself is judged of no man. John 7, 24. When you judge, do not judge by just mere appearance, but judge righteous judgment. Matthew 7. Judge not, or you will be judged. The same measure you meet will be meted back to you again. The by, huh? I praise Him in spirit and in truth. Do you understand? I worship God in spirit and in truth. I humble myself before God because He's bigger than me, smarter than me, stronger than me, faster than me, wiser than me. And you know what? He's a better preacher than me too. But He's chosen me. I pray. I just, you see how we're talking? That's how I talk to God. I just say, God, man, 
I'm amazed at you. I have never heard God's voice in my ears. You know, I have a couple times, a few times, but I never really heard it in my ear. Hey, 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 hey. I never heard it in my ear. You know where I heard it? I heard it in, in my spirit. I heard it in my innermost being. I heard, as a matter of fact, I heard his voice one day, and I got so scared, I said, Lord, I need, I need to give my life to you. Because if I die in this state, I'm in big trouble. And you know what happened? Jesus changed my heart. He made, me, he made me new on the inside where he spoke to me, and I just went, oh, God, I need you. Help me, save me, cleanse me, change. And I'm telling you, hey, you know what? My life has not been the same since then. I have not been the same person. I'm a new creation in Christ. But Christ, his only begotten son, came to die in your place. That's what you supposedly are celebrating. Even though I disagree about this celebration of Christmas, Christ was not born at this time. This is a pagan holiday that you are participating in because of covetousness. Your sinful heart your heart of pleasure, lovers of pleasure. If you had the Spirit of God and you walked with Christ, you would know that this is not a holy day. This is not a holiday. That's what a holiday means, holy day. That God looks favorably towards this day. No, he doesn't. God doesn't look favorably towards this Christmas tree that everyone bows in front of and admires and loves. Oh, yes, you, you decorate it. You cut it down, you carry it home. God is not pleased with you making up a story about Santa Claus. God is not pleased with your covetousness, your selfishness, your songs that you sing. No, God is pleased about his word. God looks over his word to perform his word. His word is right here. Is this day, does God look over this day in favor or in anger? You can know. You can know the mind of God. You can know the mind of Christ when you're born again. No, no, no. You're, no. What do you mean work hard? What are you talking about? No. no that's two different things. The Bible says by grace you're saved through faith. Not of works. It's a gift from God. Not from man, lest anyone should boast. The Bible says you can't work for your salvation. What are you going to stand before God and say, see what I did? Well, and he's going to go, what are you talking about? That's like a bloody Kotex. That's like, that's like, a, that's like a, dir a dirty douche bottle. I think I read that on a snap. No, it's in the Bible. It said our righteousness is as filthy rags before God. You understand that? You're going you're gonna to stand before God and say, I did all this? You've got to let me into your holy, sinless, perfect kingdom? No way. You better look to Jesus Christ. I'm telling you, you got to look to Jesus Christ. He's the sinless Savior. He's the sacrifice. Raise your hand, please. Because you're going to testify against yourself on the day of judgment. Your conscience will speak, either accusing or else excusing you with 100% accuracy and truth. You see, the books will be opened. The books of your life. All your secret deeds. Open your heart, Jesus. All your greed. All your covetousness. All the lies you told to your kids about Santa. About Santa's claws. About Satan's claws that he puts in your heart. But you love it, don't you? You love it. You say, oh, whisper to me peace and safety. Tell me I'm okay. Tell me God loves me and has a wonderful plan for my no life. Man will see the Lord. The Bible says unless you repent, you will perish. As you celebrate your season of giving and Christmas, I want to warn you sternly that your lifestyle of covetousness, lust of the flesh, perverted lifestyle, Oh, your drunken orgies and all your kinky, perverted sexual liaisons, huh? All of those things you do in secret. Hey, God sees and God will repay you face to face. You need to repent, little girls. Turn to Christ, turn to Jesus and live.